All right, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rechak Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all the brothers out there. And um, today I want to get into a uh, quick lesson about being proactive rather than reactive. And, you know, it's uh, very good to, you know, basically plan out, you know, your day, you know, plan out your week, okay? Uh, rather than just, you know, go with the flow of things. Now, of course, you know, we understand that there's things that are going to pop up that you don't expect, okay? You know, we're all realists here. But you can't just basically be free-flowing, okay? That's not what a wise man would do, all right? A wise man would, you know, anticipate the things that may, you know, occur, all right? You see? And that's how we got to be. We got to be wise men in this uh, uh, in this thing, okay? You know, it's good to plan out when, you know, you know uh, when you can read. It's good to plan out when you have time, you know, a time to do your video, all right? Hey, get a schedule going. Hey, if you know that, you know, you need to do, you know, particular things maybe in your house or you may, you know, need to help out your parents, all right? You know, hey, get that, you know, you know, get a schedule. Write these things down, okay? If you know, you know, your bills are coming up, make sure you don't overspend prior to that. If you know you need to save to, you know, maybe, you know, buy a house or, you know, you know, move into a new apartment, okay? Hey, hey start planning out. Oh, I need, okay, I need to move out, you know, in two months. You know, hey, every paycheck, let me save, you know, $1,000 or, you know, you know $500 so I can have that on the side for, you know, moving costs, all right? You, you, you got to be proactive, all right, you know? If you see, if you know that you have a um, a weakness, okay, for you know, uh, let's just say maybe a brother's weakness might be you know you know let's say uh, going out and um, you know getting drinks or something, or maybe a brother has a weakness for gambling. I, I I don't know whatever it is, right? Maybe you know playing video games or playing basketball, right? Too much, you know. Hey, you know, try to avoid those things so you don't you know fall down that slippery uh, slippery slope, so to speak, okay. You know, avoid those things. All right, but let me um get this word proactive, um, and then we'll get a couple scriptures. All right, this is uh, the definition. All right, proactive from the site. Um, it's called uh, edamonline.com. Okay, this is uh the meaning of the word proactive, and it um and it reads here. Um, taking the initiative in a situation anticipating events okay so basically you're like a chess player okay you know you're thinking about different possible you know scenarios and and things that will happen to you okay and you will you know try to you know basically you know um play the best move okay in your favor all right and we got to think like that as wise men now of course like i said earlier you know, being a realist, things are going to pop up. Things are going to occur that you don't expect, all right? That you're going to have to be more reactive to, okay, than being proactive, all right? That does occur. But I'll say this. A lot of situations, a lot of things that occur in your life, they, they can be in your favor if you're actually proactive. If you're, you know, uh, you know, you know basically making the proper moves before they actually even, um, before things actually occur. Okay, you know you can't always, um, you know, be reactive. That's not that's not a a wise thing. That's very that's very low level actually. Okay, because I'll say this, you know, the scriptures talk about how we're in a spiritual war, war, right? Now, with that being said, when when you know uh, uh, nations are uh, you know having a war, you know having warfare, you have particular men. Okay, that are, you know, behind the scenes, so to speak, and they're planning their moves. Okay, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're, they're basically like a, an advisor, all right, you know, to the king, all right, to, to whomever, you know, that's in charge. And they, you know, they, they say, look, it'll be wise to do this, it'll be wise to do that, all right, you know, they, they say, look, you know, hey, if we make, you know, this move over here, 
we may lose 5,000 men to, to maybe, you know, 10,000 men. But if we move over here, we may, you know, only lose 1,000 men, maybe 2,000 men. All right? You see? Oh, if we divide, you know, our, our, you know, our army up to two or three squads, then that's going to, you know, basically help us cover more ground. You see? And we got to be like that spiritually speaking. All right, we got to plan things out. Can't just be, you know, a uh, very simple minded, all right, and not think things through. Okay, now let me um, start off with this scripture here in Proverbs um, 4 and 26, and it reads, Ponder the path of thy feet. Now, that word ponder, okay, um, I believe it's the Hebrew word plak, okay, if I'm not mistaken, and um, it means basically to weigh out, to, 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 to put in a balance. All right. So you got to weigh, you know, your movements out, what you're doing. What's beneficial to you? You got to really ask, your that, ask yourself that. It, it, are these things that are beneficial? All right. Is this the most profitable, you know, choice that I can make? You really got to think these things out. Okay. For instance, is it smart? You know, you have work, right? <laughs> you know, at, uh, uh Let's just say like 8, 9 in the morning, right? That, that's, that's your start time, you know, 7, 8, 9 in the morning. Is it smart to go out, you know, the night before? All right. Or is it wise to, you know, um, you know, to get that rest, all right, beforehand to, you know, go to bed early, you know, to set your clothes out the night before, you know? Or do you want to be a party animal, the, you know, the night before, you know, get home at 3 in the morning and then, you know, wake up at 6, rush and, and go to work? We already all we all know the answer to it. We already know what the answer is. Smart to get you know to go to bed earlier and get yourself you know organized the night before. All right, you know that's just one example. You know, or, or you could say, you know, is it wise to, uh, you know, you know buy you know X Y Z you know things when you know you got you know all your bills coming up. Come on, all right. So plan these things you know in advance. Think about it. All right. And then, you know, if you, you know, you make this plan, then execute what's in your plan. Okay? Then execute it. All right? But let me uh, read this, Proverbs 4 and 26. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. And that word established means that you're, uh, um, and basically, you're executing what you're doing. All right? That you're, 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 you're following what you're stating. All right? I think it's the word, the rock, if I'm not mistaken. I got to uh, look it up again and. uh I would look it up, but right now I don't want no one calling, <laughs> all right? It has this lessons going on and, you know, then this cuts off the lesson, all right? You know, I'll say this. Look it up yourself. They do, do, they do your own research, all right? Be like the Church of Berea, you know? Okay? And uh, from there, let me get this, uh, this, um, this scripture here in Proverbs 22 and 3, and it reads, A prudent man foreseeth the evil. Okay? A wise man is going to foresee the evil. And with that being said, a wise man then is going to, um, he's going to be pro proactive and he's going to uh, uh, think about things that are going to be beneficial to, 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 his, uh, uh, to his walk. Okay? He's, he's, he's going to you know, try to you know, uh, 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 you know, plan things out that are going to benefit him. All right? So it says here, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. All right. And ultimately, we hide ourselves through what? All right. Through the names of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Because what does it say in, uh, I think it's Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, a wise man. Okay. Or, um, how does it go? You know what? Let me just get it. It says here in Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and is safe. Okay. That's the first step. Okay. That a wise man's going to do. He's going to, you know. Calling the names of Yahweh Ba Shem Al Shai. Then hey, then then you're gonna what? Pray, meditate, and then plan things out. Okay? Then you're gonna plan things out. And then you're gonna execute what's in your plan. Alright? That's what that, that's what a wise man's gonna do. A prudent man. Alright, and prudence, when you go uh when you go into that word prudence. It basically uh, means uh, having a foresight. Okay? 
And you see, you gotta play chess, not checkers, all right? That's another thing I wanted to say. You gotta play chess, not checkers. See, a chess player, that they already know what's gonna happen 10 moves before it even happens. All right, they already have 10 moves, you know, um, in place, okay? And see, in checkers, you're just reactive. You cannot be a, a checkers player. You have to be a chess player. And that's what uh, what the uh, that's how the Lord plays. All right, he he's a a, a chess player, okay. And we got to be like our power, all right, to the best of our ability, all right. And it says, but the simple pass on and are punished. And you see, if you're simple, and you're not you know taking initiative of things, and you're just you know let you know going with the flow of things, so to speak, all right. Which yeah, like I said earlier, it, there's times where you know. You got to be in that spirit, all right, because, you know, things are going to just come at you where you least expect it. Like, you may have a, a car accident or maybe a family member gets sick or right? you may get sick, all right? You know, those are just to name a few things, you know? You know, something might, you know, happen in your house. Maybe a, a pipe might, you know, might burst. I, I, I don't know. You know, these are just certain things that occur that you, you don't, you, they just happen, all right? But for the most part, all right, you need to be wise because if you're simple, you're going to get punished. All right, the Lord is going to punish you. It could be a small punishment to a large punishment, but the Lord will, you know, will get you for being uh, just a damn fool, man, an idiot, a simpleton. All right, and we cannot be like that. We cannot be like that. And um, let's go. Let's get the next scripture. All right, got a few written down here. These uh have really no particular order now. This is uh Proverbs twenty four and twenty seven. Let's see what it uh, has here. Proverbs 24 and 27. Woo! Good one right here. It says, Proverbs 24 and 27. Prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field. So you got to prepare your work, okay? You can't just go out here and, and, and just be a damn fool and have no game plan. That's very, that's, that's very stupid, to be honest, being straightforward. That's very foolish and, and very idiotic, man. All right, coming out here without a game plan. All right? That's dumb. That's what these people in the world do. You see, that's what this society teaches you. All right? Just to go with the flow of things. All right? Hey, don't be prepared. Hey, just, hey, just take it as it is, you know, and everything will be a-okay. No, man. No. You have to be, you know, a, a wise out here. You have to, you know, you know, get a game plan going. All right? Now, things will occur, all right? It happens, you know, without you expecting it. But for the most part, hey, man, get, get a game plan going. It'll, it'll, it'll help you out in the long run. And you can prevent a lot of bad situations by, you know, uh, uh, making sure that you're being proactive. Simple as that. And brothers really got to, you know, I'll say this. Because a lot of the reasons why you're actually reactive is because... You're uh, basically being um, being carnal. You're you know letting your flesh win. All right, because your flesh is gonna want to you know do simple stuff. Simple as that, man. You know your flesh is gonna want to you know do you know simple things. All right, it wants to be in the moment, but you can't be like that. You got to be uh, in the spirit, man. And look, the spirit is gonna you know is gonna you know see things that, you know from afar off. Okay. All right, the spirit is gonna, you know, anticipate things. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. This is Proverbs 24 and 27. Prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field, and afterwards build thy house. So after you have this game plan, okay, execute it. All right, execute it. Okay, and that's gonna uh, help you out in, in in the end, man. All right, whether it be spiritually or carnal. Or carnally. All right. You know, first off, hey, you you want to make sure that hey, you get your spiritual you know things in. You know, yeah, you, whether it be your prayers, all right, your reading, your lessons in. Okay, maybe you might be you know watching a video, studying. Okay, taking heed what you know the other men of the Lord are saying. Okay. And carnally speaking, hey, hey, like I said, hey, you you, you may. Want to get a house? Hey, save up some money. You may need to get a new apartment. Save up. You may need to fix a thing in your house. Okay? 
hey, you know, save that money, don't overspend. Okay? Hey, fix, hey, hey, fix a minor problem before it becomes a major problem. All right? You see? Those are just some carnal things. Just some small things, all right? Hey, hey you, you want to get that promotion at the job? You want to, you know, uh, um, maybe excel in your business, whatever, right? Guess what? You, you're going to have to get that rest. Hey, you're going to have to, you know, uh, clear out your mind. You know, get ready for the day, you know, uh, you know, get, you got to get ready for the day, you know, the night prior. All right. Those are just some things you want to make sure that you, you know, you're feeling good so you can give your best performance. So then you can get, you know, uh, like I said, a promotion or, you know, you can excel your business. You can make it, you know, uh, more, you know, of a, a strong business. All right. Now from, uh, from here. Let's go to uh, Ephesians 5 and 15, all right? Like I said, um, these really don't have an order now. These are just some scriptures that, uh, that I gathered last night when I was pondering about this. Um, where's Ephesians? Where are we? Ephesians right there, 5 and 15. And it reads here, Ephesians 5 and 15, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And look, you know, since we know that the days are evil, we know that hard times are coming. What do you have to do? You've got to be proactive. OK, you know, you got to, um, you know, start saving up some money, perhaps because hey, th things are going to get hard out here. There's going to be more job losses. You know, things are going to tighten up more. Prices are going to go up. OK, you know, for these goods. OK. You know, uh, um, hey, we, hey, we know. um. You know, people are um, going to start robbing more. All right. With that being said, hey, make sure they, hey, you know, your locks are on point. Okay. In your house. You know, if no one could break into, you know, into your house like that. Hey, always make sure, you know, watch your back when you're getting into your car. All right. Because then you might have somebody trying to, you know, rob you. All right. Hey, don't, don't be wearing all like, you know, your, your top notch gear at nighttime, so to speak, you know. All right. You know, you don't want to have all your jewelry on. You, you know what I mean? You don't want to. You don't want to have a. Uh, you know, your nice. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know, jackets or your. You know, for you. You know, for, you know. You know, your bags, purses, whatever. You know. You know. You want. You don't want to have these things on you like that. Be wise out here, man. Okay. Be wise. And those are just to name a few things. Okay. You know. Don't be a damn idiot. Seriously, don't be a, a damn idiot. And I'll say this too. Hey, don't use that that whole uh, uh, term. Well, the Lord's got me. Have faith. All right. Yes, you know. I'll say this because I don't want this. You know, uh, somebody to take that message wrong. Of course, you have faith in your how about Shemuel Shai. But the scriptures also say, don't tempt the Lord. Don't be a damn idiot, man. Don't be a goddamn fool, man. If you know shit is bad out here, don't be sitting there doing just foolish, foolish things. All right. Don't be a damn fool. All right. Like I said, hey, going back to this, you know, the topic of this lesson. Be proactive. Don't be reactive. All right. Now from here, uh, let's get uh, Hebrews 11 and 7, all right? Hebrews 11 and 7, and we'll probably end it off um, maybe with this scripture, maybe another scripture, all right? Let's get this, all right? And this whole chapter is actually going into faith, okay? This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 7. It says, By faith Noah, being warned of the Most High of the things not seen as yet, move with fear, okay? Because look, at that time period, Hey, rain didn't come down from the sky, all right? That was unheard of. Hey, but hey, Noah was, hey, he was a fearful man. He, hey, the Lord gave him that message and he took heed. And look, the Lord, hey, hey, gave us this message, you know, what's to come. So we fear him. And with that being said, hey, we move, well, you know, in fear, all right? We don't, see, you know, walk out here, you know, carelessly, okay? We, 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 we're we getting our house in order. We're getting our house in order, all right? And it says, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. All right, and right now, what are we doing? We're preparing a spiritual ark, okay? So, yeah, yeah, we got to make sure that, you know, we're in our scriptures, okay? That we're meditating, that we're separating ourselves from this world. Like I said, even carnally speaking too, hey, hey, see, uh, what does the scripture say? Money's a defense. Hey, hey, brothers, man, don't be just blowing money, man. Save your money, all right? 
Because yeah, things are going to start occurring, man. Whether it be for you or even for another brother. You may have to dish out $500, $1,000 to help that brother who's in need. Okay? Real, you, it's, not, I'll say this too. Not everything's about you. It's not just about you. Okay? Really remember that. So get your, hey, get, hey, hey, get your stuff in order, man. Not only for yourself, but for the brothers around you. Because things are going to start happening, man. It's going to get rough out here. All right? So with that being said, hey, hey, get, 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 your, hey, get, get your stuff in order. Hustle, man. Grind. And like I said, don't overspend. Okay? And it says, um, By the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. All right? You know, but the main point of why I brought that scripture out is that, hey, Noah... You know, hey, he, he, he moved with the fear, man. He got, he got his house in order. He, he built that, that ark, okay? And he, he was anticipating. He was being proactive, all right? You know, uh, for the times that were coming. And that's how we should be, all right? That's how we should be. But, um, you know, I think I'm going to end off the lesson with that. You know, I pretty much, you know, made the point, all right? Hey, brothers, hey, hey, be, be proactive, Okay, let's read that definition one more time. Proactive, taking the initiative in a situation, anticipating events. Okay, so be proactive, brothers. Don't be reactive. Okay, don't be uh, reactive because those things aren't beneficial. You know, like I said, you know, there's things that are going to occur. You know, um, and you don't expect it, no doubt about it. But that's not going to be for a lot of situations. For the most part, you, you know, you can uh, uh, prevent situations, all right? If you're, you know, on point, you know, pre-planning, you know? All right? So just, hey, just, you know, keep that in mind. Hey, we got to start maturing, start growing. Can't be on a low vibration anymore. You have to, you know, excel and you have to be on a very, very high vibration. All right? And this, hey, first and foremost goes for myself, you know? These lessons, they, 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 you know, that I make, you know, I, you know, I try to apply all these things that I say to my life to the best of my ability, and then, you know, from the, from, you know, from there, I, I, you know, I make these lessons. So, hey, so hey, if a brother needs to hear these words, hey, they, they, they could take heed and, you know, and get better th themselves. All right. So, hey, let's go, champs. You know, hey, hey, we're at the end of this, man. Hey, let, let's get better. Let's keep growing in this. All right. And with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Alshai? Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.